So now the uh, most practical way to make uh, logic gate circuits is probably with an integrated circuit which has uh, logic gate circuits in it. So this is the quad two input NAND gate. There's two inputs to each NAND gate and there's four NAND gates total. We have a low input with a trim pot I set to zero volts and a jumper at the other input there to the negative supply. I can turn the trim pot up, doesn't matter. The output stays high and uh, I turn it back down. I can put the other input to high, the output stays high. Doesn't matter, we have one low input, the output stays high. If I turn the trim pot all the way to the, uh, or most of the way to the positive supply, now we have two high inputs, that's the only time the output goes low. We'll zoom in a little bit. Um, so one problem is, there's no uh, hysteresis to this Schmidt trigger, so having a voltage that uh, slides like this isn't uh, very good idea because you'll see when I get about halfway it kind of looks like both LEDs are on but they're actually oscillating back and forth rapidly um, we don't have a solid high or low at that point so we're gonna look at an integrated circuit in the next video that should take care of that problem the integrated circuit I'm using here is the 74HC00 I'm using one out of the four I'm using number two as we saw over there we had a trim pot for one input and a jumper going to the positive or negative supply for the other as we saw before a trim pot wasn't a great input if we get halfway then uh, the output alternates between high and low when it was low the blue LED lit up like that when the output was high the red LED lit up like that the NAND gate truth table looks like this. If any inputs are low, then the output is high. End of story. You need all of the inputs to be high for the output to be low. So that is the opposite of the AND gate. So it's basically not AND gate. So now I always consult the uh, data sheet for any integrated circuit you're using. I'm using the 74HC00 and uh, since it's a high speed CMOS version, uh, generally we're good with uh, 25 milliamps of current from the output either being source or sunk but there's a total limit of 50 milliamps of current and don't leave the inputs floating that causes a bunch of problems you can see that I put a jumper to the positive supply of all the inputs that we were not using 